Hey, Tama. Well, here it is, the calm before the storm. Look at that upper tempo. Chicken coop. Shed, house, shop, sled trailer, lower tempo, trailer, sea can. And I still haven't got enough room. If I had a 100 by a 50 Quonset, I still wouldn't have enough room. True story. I think I got 10.95 acres to put that shit on. But anyway, this here is the calm before the storm here. It's really cooling off. It was like, I think minus 5, but now it's minus 10 with this wind that's made. It says it feels like minus 15, which I know people out west think I'm nuts. Because it's minus 50 there. You can't do a whole lot in minus 50. But we're going to be getting, I don't know, 2, 3 feet of snow, but with 35 mile an hour winds, which means the power goes out. So I was just out gassing up the generators, getting the fire going real hot in the shop. Because we can always cook out there. But, you know, with the Jenny, we, uh, we got an electric frying pan and we plug it right into the, the house so that the TV and the fridge and the other stuff works. So I, I just plowed this yesterday because it was just kind of fluffy shit. But look at that, I packed it down to a nice hard pack. So now I got a beautiful base. Otherwise, you're just scraping up gravel like this, eh? Hey, Tamma won't come any further than that because we got that beep beep line under the ground there. I'm about 10 feet from the end of the driveway here. So on the, keeping the road pretty good. So far, so good. And you can see that the beaver knew when a bunch of snow was coming, so the beaver pond, it's way back in there. It's about eight acres of water, about 10 feet deep. You see, you can see it gurgling there now. It lets it, it let a lot out and then it just trickles it out until it knows enough. You can see it. And you can hear it. So therefore, my dock here, it's in a big slurpee all winter. It never really gets solid ice, and that's why my docks never smash up like some other people's do when the ice melts. And then the big chunks of ice blow across with the wind, and then like, they're like, you know, how heavy they are. They're 10 foot chunks by two feet deep, and they just destroy docks. I don't get that in this cozy little bay here, Gab Bay. You see, it's open there. But if you could walk around that water there, this is probably at least four inches in this bay. And then it just froze over right across. And I haven't seen no deer yet, so it's probably just enough snow to hold uh, ice to hold the snow. That's why I don't want to go out there yet. But I don't see a deer's 130 pounds or whatever they are. You'll see them walking across in another week or so. It's going to be minus 16 or 20 for five days. That'll take them up. <clears throat> yeah so deer they come around here and they just have to smack that with their paws and they got fresh water always to drink I wouldn't drink that beaver fever piss water anyway things are looking good you can tell by the sky over there something's a brewing there's the old homestead over there Christmas lights will come on automatic it's dark 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 well, I go for my daily walk because I don't think I'll be able to walk for the next couple of days in this deep, deep snow. So I walk up to past Hanks and then back the first three times, four times. And I'll work my way up to a little farther each time. I don't know if it's helping or not because when I drove the friggin' CF motor yesterday plowing, I was in it for about two hours. My bad knee's my gas pedal knee. And it hurt like a bastard when I got out of there. I don't know if that means it's fixing it or, well, I don't know what. I'm walking on it right now. That's not so bad. So maybe this needs the lube. Hey, Tim. Okay, we wait with you. We'll throw the ball some more and then we'll go in, okay? Keep your paw on the ice and your back tail cranked. We're going to...